Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about my research which is all about COVID-19 and nanotechnology. Well, we all know that COVID-19 has affected and killed millions of people and undermined economies of many countries. Vaccines have been successfully introduced and some drugs approved and used to counteract COVID-19. However, many people are still dying and many new cases daily reported. This raises and strengthens the need for new strategies to support the healthcare in this battle. Since COVID-19 is mainly located in the airways, our research aimed at developing a delivery system that can efficiently drive antivirals to the lungs and target their affected areas, therefore reducing the required dose as well as side effects. There are many types of nanotechnology-based delivery systems, one of them being the lipid nanocapsules that we have chosen for our research because not only they enhance antiviral solubility, but also they allow their concentration in the lungs where COVID-19 infection mainly develops. Besides, as they are lipid-based, they are likely to easily achieve intracellular drug penetration owing the lipidic nature of biological barriers. So far, we have applied the design expert software to the design and optimization studies and it helped to build a reduced special cubic model that predicts the desired features of lipid nanocapsules. We used a very simple process named phase inversion to produce lipid nanocapsules and the optimized formulation's particle size ranges from 40 to 60 nanometers. And this was assessed using the dynamic light scattering and the transmission electron microscopy. We are currently investigating the encapsulation and the in vitro release of an antiviral model drug to see how much of it lipid nanocapsules can entrap and how they liberate it. Now, as deposition of very small particles in the lungs is very challenging due to many factors, especially the airflow velocity and volume and the duration between the inhalation and the exhalation, our second main aim is to synthesize inhalable pH sensitive and bioadhesive hydrogel powder that can efficiently achieve lipid nanocapsules deposition in the lungs and trigger their sustainable liberation. Later on, antiviral tests will be carried out using model cells infected by coronavirus. And it is worth mentioning that these delivery systems may also apply to other respiratory infections. Finally, although these delivery systems are very promising and are compatible with the body and degradable, further research into their toxicity profile is essential to ensure their safe use in human therapy. Thank you for your attention.